Hello friends, in today's video, we shall go through the concept of expenditure function and its properties. The expenditure function gives the minimum budget or the minimum expenses required to obtain a given level of utility. So the expenditure function can be written as E of P1, P2 and utility constraint. So in other words, an expenditure function is nothing but minimizing expenditure subject to a utility constraint. So in very simple terms, we can state an expenditure function as a minimum amount of money or consumer's income that an individual must spend in order to achieve some predefined level of utility. So the optimization problem can be written as minimizing m is equal to px multiplied by x plus py multiplied by y subject to the utility constraint u is equal to xy which is greater than or equal to u. So we already know the Hicksian demand functions for good x and y which is compensated demand for good x is equal to root of u multiplied by py divided by px and compensated demand for good y is equal to root of u multiplied by px divided by py. Now substituting these two equations onto the budget constraint, we get m is equal to px multiplied by root of u multiplied by py divided by px plus py multiplied by root of u multiplied by px divided by py. Now these equations can be rewritten as m is equal to px multiplied by u multiplied by py divided by px the whole raised to 0.5 plus py multiplied by u multiplied by px by py the whole raised to 0.5. Now opening the brackets, we can rewrite the equation as m is equal to px multiplied by u raised to 0.5 multiplied by py raised to 0.5 by px raised to 0.5 plus py multiplied by u raised to 0.5 multiplied by px raised to 0.5 divided by py raised to 0.5. Now here px raised to 0.5 and px will get cancelled out. Similarly py raised to 0.5 and py will get cancelled out. So here remaining equation can be written as m is equal to px raised to 0.5 multiplied by py raised to 0.5 multiplied by u raised to 0.5 plus py raised to 0.5 multiplied by px raised to 0.5 multiplied by u raised to 0.5. So finally this equation can be rewritten as m is equal to 2 multiplied by u raised to 0.5 multiplied by px raised to 0.5 multiplied by py raised to 0.5. This is the expenditure function. So this expenditure function tells the minimum expenses required for a consumer to remain in the same level of utility provided the prices of the goods are given. Now coming to the properties of expenditure function, the first property is that expenditure functions are a homogeneous function of degree 1. So a homogeneous function of degree 1 means that if the prices of the goods are doubled, then the minimum expenses required to meet that particular level of utility will also get doubled. The second property of expenditure function is that expenditure functions are non-decreasing in prices. It means that if the price of the goods increases, then the minimum expenditure required to meet that utility level will also increase increase and vice versa. The third property is that expenditure functions are concave in prices. And last and one of the important properties of expenditure function is Shepard's lemma. Now Shepard's lemma is actually a formula used to obtain Hicksian demand function for good x or y directly from the expenditure function. So the formula to find out Hicksian demand from the expenditure function is say for good x, the compensated demand for good x is equal to del E by del Px. That is we have to differentiate the expenditure function with respect to price of good x. So differentiating the expenditure function m is equal to 2 multiplied by u raised to 0.5 multiplied by Px raised to 0.5 multiplied by py raised to 0.5 with respect to price of good x that is px we get del e by del px is equal to 2 multiplied by u raised to 1 by 2 multiplied by px raised to 1 by 2 multiplied by py raised to 1 by 2 the whole divided by del px now this can be solved and written as 2 u raised to 1 by 2 multiplied by 1 by 2 px raised to 1 by 2 minus 1 multiplied by py raised to 1 by 2 now here since the expenditure function is differentiated with respect to px the p x raised to 1 by 2 is solved using the formula n into x raised to n minus 1. Now this can be solved and written as u raised to 1 by 2 multiplied by px raised to minus 1 by 2 multiplied by py raised to 1 by 2. Now this px raised to minus 1 by 2 is put up in the denominator and it can be rewritten as u raised to 1 by 2 multiplied by py raised to 1 by 2 divided by px raised to 1 by 2. This can again be rewritten as u raised to 1 by 2 multiplied by py by px the whole raised to 1 by 2. Again, it can be simplified as u multiplied by py by px a whole raised to 1 by 2 and this is nothing but root of u multiplied by py by px which shows the Hicksian demand function for good x. 
If you like the video, do subscribe to my channel and share the video to maximum. Thank you.